This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2002 Ford F-250 regular cab long bed. It's a 5.4 liter V8 gas V8. It's rear wheel drive. It's an XL, which is uh, very basic. Crank windows, uh, no frills at all. Um, it's a work truck. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from Allstate Insurance in uh, Riverside, California. Um, it is on a clear title, which is unusual. Usually they'll salvage almost everything um, that they sell, um, but uh, not this one, which is cool. Anyway, um, it's just a truck. I'm not gonna run around here and tell you how great it is. I just drove it. Uh, it runs and drives great. Um, it's a work truck. Uh, cosmetically, challenged. <laughs> uh, mechanically, not challenged. Um, I do know that when it was in California, they stole the catalytic converters and just put straight pipe in it. So I'll give you the cat speech in a minute on how, why that's important and why we didn't put another cat on it in just a second. Um, has to do with where it's going to be sold and if there's a reason to put one on, etc. But I'll get to that in a second. This could be a pretty quick video because there's not a whole lot to demonstrate. <laughs> um, this tire, front right tire, probably 50 or 60 percent tread um, it looks like it had some sort of an emblem here on it I don't think anyone's gonna care about the cosmetics here like I said you've got uh, crank windows you do have a manual which gosh if you didn't know how to work this car you'd have a problem this is a seat cover so they probably have a vinyl seat but it's a really nice seat cover um, I know the radio doesn't work which <laughs> a lot of times the bosses of these companies that have work trucks like this disconnect the radios because they don't want a distraction while their guys are working rear tires look like they're probably 40 or 50 percent tread anyway it's got all the work truck stuff on the side if you want to look really closely at the paint go through the photo gallery it's got a nice little hole nice little square hole you normally that'd be a bullet hole looks like somebody backed into something um if you care enough about a tailgate you can buy a white tailgate online for a like hundred bucks but that's that um, I do put everything especially trucks up in the air we have a four post uh, um, drive on lift and then I pressure spray the crap out of the out of the uh, undercarriage then we let it sit there overnight to see if it's leaking and it's not there's no leaks going on here um, fired up it's post Halloween and uh, I'm uh, oh, I gotta put it in park don't you um, and I'm uh, warm believe it or not so I have the air conditioning running I just put about about five dollars worth of gas in it so we got a little bit above ease so I can do the video um, anyway uh, this will be uh, scanned into the ad. This is the auto check for the vehicle. There's your VIN. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It says 12, 16 of 21. Left side, minor left side accident. And it was stolen 12, 2 of 21. Recovered 12, 8 of 21. And then insurance, insurance, um, total loss caused by theft. What you don't see is the word salvage. When they want to salvage a title, they'll say salvage title issued. But they just say vehicle loss caused by theft because Allstate wanted to make as much money as they could when they sold it uh, when I bought it. Okay? That's why they do that. Going to the hood real quick. All right, got the stickers where they belong. One of the most produced, if not the most produced motors in history, the 5.4. Got a newer coolant bottle. There's your coolant level right here, which is perfect. Um, Ford stamp here. Should be another one right there, there is. What would that tell you? That tell you these are original parts. 
We also have a Ford stamp on this fender. So the fenders are original, hood's original. They said left side. I don't really see it. What I do see, the only thing I saw was this. It's got a little thing here. I don't know, maybe they got the wrong side on the on the report. Needs a Ford badge. All right, let me get in this guy. Not a whole lot to do. These videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds. And usually by the time I get down I-10, um, usually there's uh, no more time. I don't make it all the way back. But on this one, I will because there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles. There's overdrive off and on. Like I said, radio, not working, not unusual. Uh, this thing doesn't have tilt wheel or anything. I do have windshield wipers. And that's that. All right, let's go for a ride. I did test the headlights and stuff. They work fine. All right. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, first of all, if you're going to drive it home um, and you're, go you're an Arizona person, it has to have a catalytic converter. Um, if you are an Arizona person, <coughs> we will add... $400 to the price of the vehicle for a catalytic converter, okay? Now, I'm saying 400 right now, but there's a chance lately they've been going between 4 and 600. All right? So, when you say you want a cat, it could be as much as 600. Not even like 5 months ago it was what 295. It's out of control right now. Um anyway, um so 400 is what we hope. Um, if it's if it's uh, more, we'll let you know. Okay. Um, anyway, that's mandatory if you're an Arizona resident. If you're from out of state and you want a cat um, installed, uh, let us know at the time of purchase, and we'll get that done. We'll just add the price of the cat to the price of the vehicle. Um, if you're from California and you want a cat, do your research. You should get it through us. Uh, we're not making a dime on these stupid things. All right. But I do know that in California, if you install one, you have to get a California-only cat installed, and that's a fortune. Do the, do the research. I won't even lead you. I'll just tell you, research it. Um, if you buy a cat and have a cat installed in any of the other 49 states, and you have the documentation that, that was done out of, out of California, um, then you don't have to pay for a California cat. That's why you, California should do it, all right? Uh, Let's see, uh, if you're going to uh, pay by wire and ship it out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, unless you want to get the cat, and, you know, we'll add that to it. Uh, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We will scan it in the envelope, we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you, the title will already be in your mailbox when the truck shows up. You go to uh, motor vehicles in your city and get plates. Very simple, okay? Um, if you need uh, help with shipping, let me know at the time of purchase. Uh, we can roll the price of shipping into the price of the vehicle also, uh, along with the price of the cat if you want one. Now, the reason we don't do cats on every vehicle before we sell them is that uh, a lot of vehicles, especially a vehicle like this one, is prime candidate to go to Mexico, where of course they don't need a cat. Uh, a lot of trucks just go to Mexico with us from us without cats, and it's legal to sell them to Mexico. All right. Uh, some cats, some cars even go to Europe. We sent a, an Armada a few years ago to Germany, and it had a cat stolen, and they didn't care. All right. So anyway, our, we're, this is Prince Road. We're getting on the interstate here at I-10. Uh, people like to see these trucks. You know at speed so that's what we do anyway um la 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 anyway ask me if you need help with shipping um gave you the cat explanation blah 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 blah, 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 blah. anyway uh, i'll tell you what this thing runs great the funny thing about buying california trucks is that the undercarriages always look better than the exterior like underneath this truck it looks fantastic <laughs> I mean, it's like, it looks like a, you know, a 20,000 mile truck because they never get on the dirt. They never leave the road. It's bizarre. Uh, anyway, last part of every video, I say the same thing and I will this time, like I have thousands of times. 
we don't have salesmen, so you're not paying a commission in, your, in the price of this vehicle. You're not uh, paying for our location. Our uncle rents us that location we pulled out of for a dollar a year. He's wealthy. He doesn't care. He writes off the loss. So a uh, dollar a year for that. And we have to make the uh, property uh, tax payments, uh, which are about 300 bucks a month. So technically speaking, it's about, it's about uh, $3,700 a year is what we pay for our property. All right. So we don't have that overhead from, from uh, our property uh, or from having salesmen. We also don't have, um, you know, a person serving lattes and scones in the lobby like they have a Precision Toyota in the auto mall. Um, they have a bunch of bizarre stuff to entertain kids. All that stuff gets paid for every time you buy a vehicle from them, okay? And uh, it's brutal. I mean, I know the numbers and it's brutal. So what we do when we sell to you is we don't jack up the prices for, you know, to include commissions and our, our landlord and lattes and game rooms for the kids, all that crap. Uh, we give you that savings up front. We could go in the middle between what we could save you and what we do save you, I mean, and, and what they charge you, but we don't. Why? Why do we give you all that money up front? Because we want you to be the owner on day one. One thing we're not set up for, we're not designed for, is fixing a vehicle after it's sold. Okay? We're not writing checks for this vehicle. If it shows up and something happens to it, whether it's day one or day 3,000, um, you are going to be the owner. Okay, um, And you are going to fix your truck. You just saved a fortune. Um, it would probably have saved you a lot more money if they had salvaged the title on this truck. I was kind of bummed that they didn't. Salvage titles are actually pretty nice. On this truck, for some reason, Allstate knew it was a good truck and did not salvage the title. Uh, which, you know, is worth about, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars on this truck at least. Uh, but it also makes it a lot easier to insure. So uh, there's that. Anyway, uh, bottom line is you're the owner on day one. We're not writing checks for repairs. We're not doing anything, you know, other than selling you the truck and giving you tons of honest information, photos, videos, everything we know about the truck, you will know about the truck. I don't want to run this guy over it. He'll take my whole freaking fortune, which is nothing really, but he'll take what's left of it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a nice truck. I mean, it really runs great. Amazing little truck. So if you need like a long bed work truck, you know, landscaping company, whatever, you want something to put on, you know, a, a long uh, shell on for work or who knows what, this would be a nice truck. Tires could probably be new. The rear tires look like they need to be replaced pretty soon. The fronts look okay for uh, at least 5,000 miles more. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, and yeah, we're way under time. We're at 13 minutes and 17 seconds, which means I'm gonna make it all the way back into the yard, which is very rare. And why is that? Because I'm not demoing, uh, you know, heated seats and power seats and windows and mirrors and all that stuff that are normally part of the uh, video. I'm uh, just doing the truck. The driving of the truck and the air conditioning is blowing ice cold. You know what? Speaking of which, let me uh, put this in my hand. GoPro in this hand. And I'm going to switch it to heat. This is about the time of year where we send a vehicle out to uh, Nebraska or Minnesota and the heater matters and it's already pouring out heat uh, so yes the heat works and I'm putting the AC back on okay so the heater works something we don't really need much in Arizona but I better get used to checking it right now or we're going to have uh, issues at some point with somebody who's cold Nice truck, really nice truck. For what you're doing with this thing, 
you know, you don't have to worry about scratching it, dinging it. It's already had both of those done. I'm going to swing around here and leave it for my brother to uh, do the photos of it. Which he does right here. Alright, there you go. I think that's about it. Runs great, which is all you need in this truck. Thank you for your time.